Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to always boot Windows into advanced startup setting. This is great if you're diagnosing something where you know you've got to reboot multiple times to access advanced startup. So I'm going to show you everything it does. It's faster for me to show you how to do it and then explain to you and let you see everything it does. Or you can just pause right here and cheat and look at it. So let's go ahead and first and foremost, either write down or copy this code so we would Hold your mouse, drag across, right click, copy. Now we've got that in our clipboard in the memory. Let's press CMD under search, for example, and do run as administrator with the command prompt. Now we've got that code copied. We will press control V and that will paste the code in and press enter. You will see the operation completed successfully. Let's close that out, close this and let's reboot. And as you see, we'll be able to access all of our different advanced startup settings until we put that same code in you just saw, except we add false instead of true. Give it just a second here. There we go. So as you can see, you have a limited amount of time. There's no mouse. You're going to press 1 through 9 or F10 for more options or enter to return to your operating system. Let's do F10. That is pretty handy if you want to launch a recovery environment. Enter to return. As you can see, one problem here is once you get into here, it says press function keys one through nine, but there's one F10 for more options that will take us back. And there you can see if you wait about a minute, it's going to automatically start Windows regardless if you don't touch anything. So that's kind of handy too. So you can enable debugging, boot logging, low resolution video, safe mode with networking or command prompt, disable driver signature enforcement, disable early launch anti-malware protection, and disable automatic restart after failure. As you saw, that was the end of that. So now we gotta get her going again because you have about that minute to press those buttons. So that gets you pretty much everywhere you wanna go. So we're gonna go enter to return to the operating system, hopefully. There she goes. And I got to get the code to the page here real quick so we can load it back up. I want to show you one last thing before I let you out of here. Hold on. All right, we're coming back up. So again, we're going to want to do the exact same thing you just saw. I don't really need to show you, but I will. Again, we're going to copy that same code that you had, whether you wrote it down or not. And you just change the false, the true to false. Let's see if we can get this thing right. That probably would be helpful. So we got to wait for a second for VMware to start up so because it'll VMware, the virtual machine, does not always put everything into memory right away. It takes a minute. There we go. What I wanted to show you was this may not be everything that you want, but here you go. So we're going to do this exact same code, except you can see we changed it to false. So I'm going to copy this code now, same way as we did. Drag a car us, right click, copy. Again, CMD, run as administrator. And control V and false. Now your computer will go back to rebooting as normal. But what I wanted to show you, as I mentioned, this video will be embedded in this page, which is linked to through the eye in the video description, as I said, because you might be interested in creating an advanced startup shortcut, startup option shortcut. Yeah, say that a few times. That'll give you access to this. And as you can see, we have a YouTube video here as well, where you get to startup repair and install updates, all the troubleshooting stuff that you would find. And this will let you create a shortcut so that you can jump to that as at will simply by clicking on a shortcut you create on a desktop. So if this isn't what you're looking for, that might be. So there you have it. That is how to always boot Windows into advanced startup settings. As always, we appreciate you watching. See you next time.